Fundamentals Waterline System Concipio Tectura as a firm also practice plumbing design as the principal architect is also a master plumber. We are an architectural firm that offers plumbing design and consultancy services. With that being said, let's go back to basics. First of all, what is water distribution system? It is a system of pipes, valves, and fixtures for distributing and using water in a building. When we go to specifications, Water line system or water distribution system is part of CSI Master Format 2016 publication. What are the tools, equipments, and machines being used? Plumbing fixtures is a receptacles which are used to provide, receive, and discharge water, liquid, and water carried waste into a drainage system with which they are connected to. Water closet. Plumbing fixture used to convey organic body waste to the plumbing system. Sink, a stationary basin with a drain, used for washing, connected in a water supply and a drainage system. Lavatory, can be a basin or bowl used for washing face and hands. Faucet, an apparatus for controlling the flow of a liquid from a pipe by opening or closing an outlet. Hose beam, also called hose cup, is a threaded exterior faucet for attaching a garden hose. Mixing faucet, is a faucet having a single outlet of water from individually controlled hot water and cold water taps. Urinals, a flushable fixture used for urinating. Next are the pipes and pipe fittings. Pipes, a hollow long tube used for the conveyance of water, steam, gas, or other fluid material. Materials commonly used in waterline pipes can be PVC, copper, brass, galvanized iron, PPR, and CPVC. Pipe fitting is an equipment required to connect various length of pipes. Elbow is a 90 degree angled fitting. T is a T-shaped pipe fitting and a three-way joint. Cross, a pipe fitting used for a four-way connection. Union is a device to connect two pipes together. When it comes to hot water distribution, we use water heater. They heat potable water between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius and storing it for use. Conventional water heater, having a tank for the heating and storing of water using electricity or gas. Instantaneous water heater, on demand water heater as they heat water very quickly and requires less space. Now on cold water distribution, we use water pumps. We use this whenever water supply at its natural pressure may not be directly piped to a building, tank, or reservoir. Positive displacement pump are efficient as it moves fluid at the same speed regardless of the pressure in the inlet end. Dynamic pump uses centrifugal force to move water into the pump and the pressure to discharge flow. Potable water tanks are used to provide storage of water for human consumption. Water tanks can either be made of fiberglass, bolted steel, corrugated steel, polyethylene plastic, stainless steel, or carbon steel. There are also valves. These are devices that controls the flow of water on the pipes. Globe valve, a valve sitting on an opening of internal wall closed by a disc. Check valve, permits the liquid or gas to flow together in one direction. Gate valve, a shot of valve with a wedge-shaped gate. Ingle valve, right ingle valve from inlet to the outlet. Float valve, a mechanical liquid level controller that has a float that opens or closes a valve according to the changes of water elevation. Alignment valve, opened by aligned holes in a washerless valve. Mixing valve, used for controlling hot and cold water lines. 
details of a water tank. Inlet, float valve, weighted ball, outlet, not yet filled up so the float valve is still on. It's on sufficient amount so the float valve is now off. Drawing Symbols The following are the drawing symbols used for making a waterline layout. Sample waterline isometric diagram. The water supply starts from the water main pipe. Shut up gate valve. Water meter. Check valve. 3 fourth is the water pipe size being used. Riser pipe up. Going to different fixtures. Sample water line layout it Starts from the water source 3 fourth is the pipe size The water then is going to different fixtures at home Where does the supply of water came from? It can be through the rain water That can be collected from the roofs of the building Reservoir and cisterns. Water supply can also come from a natural surface water obtained on ponds, rivers, and lakes. And for other places of scarcity, they get water from the sea. How this water is being distributed to different structures? It starts from the collection of water from the reservoir or dams. Then the raw water from the reservoir will need the water treatment so that it can be purified and will be fit for human consumption. The potable water will be distributed to our homes by means of water pipes. The water main pipe is a main pipe the public or community water system conveys water to all service connection pipes. The water main pipe, the service pipes on the other hand, are pipes connecting a structure to a water or gas main pipe. service pipes, there's a corporation stop. It is a valve that controls the water from a main pipe to the service pipe. Near the curb of the street, there's another valve installed in the service pipe. It's called curb stop. A curb stop is a valve operated by a long key located in a curb box, used to shut off water supply to a structure in case of emergency. Then there's the gate valve. The gate valve is used for shutting off the flow of water from the service pipes. Then the water meter. The water meter is used for measuring the water quantity that goes through the pipes. And the check valve. Check valve permits the liquid or gas to flow together in one direction. How does water is being distributed within the structure or a building? This can be classified into two types of system. First, the pneumatic water supply or a feed distribution system, wherein the water supply is distributed from a water main, enclosed in a tank. a water pump that pumps air to distribute the water and the pressurized tank for added pressure. The water then goes up through the riser, through the pipe branches going to different fixtures and equipment. These are the equipment used for pneumatic distribution system. Next is the gravity water system or downfeed distribution system. 
Same with the upfeed system, water distribution starts from the water main. In closing a tank. Has a water pump that pumps air to distribute the water. And a pressurized tank for added pressure. The water then goes up through the riser. The water distribution starts on the height sufficient enough to supply pressure to the water going throughout the water distribution system. These are the equipment used for downfeed distribution system. The water line system is part of the revised national plumbing code of the Philippines. The following topics are within the chapter 6 of the book, which is about water supply and distribution. And if you want to book us for an appointment, you can contact us in the following details. And don't forget to support and follow us on our social media accounts.